Welcome to day eight of our journey through the Bible. Today we learn of the second quake, a quake caused not by God, but by man. A quake which takes the life of the first human victim. Our focus verse highlights the hope that God gave after this tragic event. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son, and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. Although Adam and Eve are no longer in paradise, they still experience God's gracious goodness. They have God's promises. They are on God's side. And now they are the proud parents of two boys. Cain is a man of the soil and becomes an accomplished agriculturalist. His brother Abel is the animal lover in the family and spends his days as a herdsman. Two very different men, that's okay. Two very different occupations, that's okay too. But not okay is that these two brothers stand on opposite sides of that spiritual fault line. Cain and Abel are loyal to two very different masters, and their sacrifices show where their loyalties lie. God requires their first and their best when they sacrifice. Cain offered some of his produce. Notice, not the first fruits, not the best fruits, just some. His heart wasn't in it. He was just going through the motions. In contrast, Abel offered the firstborn of his flock, and he gave the fat portions, meaning the very best of that animal, to God. God looked with favor upon Abel's sacrifice. But God did not look with favor upon Cain's sacrifice. Cain then grew jealous of Abel, and anger gripped him, and hatred quaked within his heart. God warned Cain to master his sin, lest sin master him. But Cain did not listen. His brother Abel became the victim of his jealous hatred. Cain himself became the first murderer. And Eve, the mother of all living, became the mother of one dead. Eve's two sons stood on opposite sides of the spiritual fault line. Cain represents those who are loyal to Satan. Abel represents those who are loyal to the Savior. But Abel is now dead, and Jesus was supposed to descend from Abel's line. Could God's people still look forward to the coming of Jesus? Yes, they could, because God gave Adam and Eve another son. They named him Seth because he was born in the place of Abel. And from Seth's line, Jesus, the promised Savior, would come. Thank God for keeping Advent hope alive when Satan sought to snuff it out. Ask God to reassure you that no matter how powerful Satan may be, God's plans will prevail and his kingdom will not fail.